It's always been known in the UK that the Polish codebreakers had done something which was helpful to the effort at Bletchley Park. But what was not very clear was what that was and how significant it was. And so I found that very interesting and I wanted to find out essentially what, from a British perspective, feels like the prehistory of the Enigma story. So um, I heard vaguely about Marian Rievsky and his colleagues and I wanted to discover more about it. And the more I looked, the more interesting the story became. What was the advancement of Polish cryptology back then comparing to other nations? I think what you need to understand, or perhaps what British people need to understand, is that back in 1939, the British knew absolutely nothing about Enigma. They knew that there was this special German military version of the Enigma machine, but they really didn't understand how it worked. They didn't understand how the wiring in the machine uh, was connected. They didn't understand what the wiring in the rotors was, and frankly, without knowing any of those things, they, there was no way that they were going to be able to read any Enigma messages. By contrast, in Poland, they had for already for seven years understood what the wiring was, they knew how the Germans were using the machine, they had developed techniques for uh, finding out how the Germans were setting up their machines every day. So the gulf between what the Polish codebreakers knew and what the British codebreakers knew was massive. And the important thing is, and this is highly significant, is that there was this meeting in just outside Warsaw in July 1939, where the Poles explained everything that they knew to the French and the British in a secret meeting. And it was because of that transfer of knowledge that the successes of Bletchley Park uh, began. And it's only because of that transfer of knowledge from the Polish codebreakers to the British ones that uh, Bletchley Park has the reputation it has today.